Hey guys, it's Kel, and welcome back to my channel, and please excuse my appearance. I've been trying to, like, get my hair in healthier shape, so I haven't been, like, washing it every single day, so it looks ugh, today, so we're just gonna ignore my appearance. But, in today's video, we are gonna talk about, um, isopod enclosures, and we're gonna build some new isopod enclosures, because... I've recently gone isopod crazy, and I've decided that I want to, like, keep a bunch of different species. I currently only have three right now, or three, I think. Yeah, my dairy cows, my powder blues, and my, uh, wild type. But, uh, I wanted to build them some new enclosures, and I got a really good deal on Marketplace on some bins. So I figured I would show you guys how I make cheap isopod enclosures. So let's do it. And welcome to my kitchen, actually, because I didn't want to do this in the animal room. But we are making isopod enclosures. So we just got these bins here. They're just the Sterilites basic bins. We are going to be drilling holes in either side and then screening over them. And then we're going to leave the tops just like this so that we can stack them. So I'm going to just show really quick how I make these uh, isopod bins. And then we're just going to take your drill with a paddle bit. And we're going to hold our bin down. I hold it like that. And then we're just going to... Just slowly... That one kind of cracked, but it's okay because it's still going to be screened over. The screen's going to go like all the way across, so the little crack in there it doesn't really matter if it's not perfect. Because we're going to be screening over it. All right, so we just have our screen. I got this at Lowe's, I think. I got a big roll. It was like $8. And then we have our hot glue gun and our glue sticks because you need glue sticks for a hot glue gun. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so while we wait for our hot glue gun to melt or warm up, we are gonna cut our mesh squares for our boxes. And take our piece of mesh, hold it up here, and cut across where it needs to be so it fits right in there. And then we're just gonna copy the size of the mesh over and over. And because we have 10 bins with two holes, we got to cut 20 of these little squares. All right, so now you're over here because I had to move you over to my counter so that I can do this, but basically we're just going to take our bins, here's our bin full of mesh screens, we're going to set aside, and we are just going to take a bin, get the holes drilled in, and we're just going to basically take it, fit the mesh screen over where it's going to go. You can cut it if it like hangs over too much, because like right here is where the label is going to go. So if it hangs over too much, you can cut it. And then we're just going to take our hot glue gun. And we're going to 
glue it down. Easy peasy. It's all glued down. And like, it doesn't have to be perfect because trust me, your isopods, your isopods aren't gonna care if their little bins aren't the prettiest. So now just cover all of your holes. There's your screen. Just cover them all just like that. All right, so that is all the bins. I put the screen on both sides of them. And now I gotta run to work. And then when I come back, I will show you guys how I set these up. All right, so we got another change here. We got all of our bins here. And we're now sitting on my floor so you can like see how I'm gonna set these up. And I got my bucket of dirt my cork bark i'm waiting on leaf litter to still come in the mail but uh there's some in these little mini enclosures i'm going to put in these bins for now until the new ones come in but today we're going to be transferring over my wild type isopods into one of our diy bins we made so we're just going to start with our bin here. We're going to take some dirt, which I don't have a scooper with me. So I'm just going to use like this old little deli cup thing. And we're just going to like scoop some dirt into the bin. Pretty self-explanatory. And then we're just going to kind of break it up. It's all like all the chunks are kind of broken up like that. Breaking up the little chunks. Want a decent amount of dirt, so like enough for them to like burrow and stuff. But not so we have our mossy corner over here. And then we're gonna take this. There is a piece of cork bark already in here. We're gonna put in there for them. Some of the moss that they had. Some leaf litter. I'm gonna add some of the old dirt just because why not they're already in there so we're just gonna do that okay I have some snake skin and a carrot we're gonna put in here for them there we go and toss their leaf litter back on and it's a really simple really basic setup for this but for now this is what we're going to be using. And now I'm going to go finish doing the other ones and I will come back and show you. So here is the overall of the enclosure. We're just going to take this. If I can figure it out here. And we are going to give our moss a little spray down, do a quick doot doot doot. And there we go. One isopod enclosure done. I still got to make up the little tags, but since I only currently have three species right now, it's going to be really easy to still like know which one's which while I work on getting the tags set up. But yeah, that is one isopod enclosure. And then you just have your lid goes on, snaps down, and then I left the lid like this so I can stack them on my shelf. I was going to show you, look at all these guys. They love their leaf, and then anybody on their cork bark? No, oh, yeah, one right there. These are my powder blues, and I think there's one or two powder oranges mixed in here. They're so cute. And then these ones are my favorite. These are the dairy cows. Let me see if I can get a good 
a shot of them. They're so cute. He's already climbing on the screen. That's not good. Ronnie, you're so cute. There's another one over here. Or that could be the same one. I don't know. But I do love the dairy cows. They are so cute. Hi there, buddy. So those are my three isopod bins, and I'm sure you're asking, you're wondering, why did I make so many bins if I only have three cultures? And that is because I plan on getting quite a few more cultures. So I figured since I got such a good deal on the bins, I might as well make them and get them set up. And as I get more isopods, I have enclosures for them. Alright, that's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please, 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 please subscribe. Because we are so close to 200. And I would really like that. So, please do that. And until next time. Bye.